Okay, welcome back. As you might have seen from the message log, I tried to sleep because we were really tired, but we've just been woken up by hunger, so I guess we're just going to endlessly try and catch fish forever with a spear until we can actually catch something. I just don't think it's going to happen though. Nope, didn't manage to catch any fish. We now have insufficient nutrition. And those nets have only been there for a few hours. They need to be there for a while before uh, before it works, really. Uh, so really the only other option I have is to go hunting or steal shit. <laughs> oh man. If I found a walled village, that would be pretty awesome because I'm pretty sure that you can just steal their stuff and hop over the wall. I don't know. I might be wrong about that, but uh, that's where the ford next to the rapids was, I remember. But yeah, I think I'm just going to have to basically wander around until some hapless squirrel decides to jump into my face uh, to be swallowed whole, because I'm that bloody hungry. Um, yeah, I'm famished, I need to sleep, but he won't sleep. Uh, unless we pass out, of course. Desperately hungry. Right, let's try to stand up. Yeah, I think we might actually starve to death here, unless we try... Ooh, now. <laughs> Somebody alone in the woods. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, don't judge me, okay? I'm starving. Alright. I gotta do this. I've got to go and stab him in the face. You encounter a Sartalize adventurer. Right, let's um, drop these stones because they're weighing me down. Uh, what else could I drop? I could drop this paddle. Uh, I can drop these 22 branches. Not sure why I'm carrying that. But yeah, uh, we're gonna sneak. We're gonna get behind a tree and sneak. Uh, I have a paddle in my hand. Let's take that out of my hand. There we go. Right, we're gonna stab this ship. Right, we're gonna sneak up to him and we're gonna be stabbing him in the back. I'm really sorry about this guys, but <laughs> we have to uh, we have to eat. Can I just, like, pickpocket him? Right. So we're still hidden, and we're right next to him. So I'm going to try and stab him with my spear, and he's going to get a bit angry at me. Right, so I struck hard to his hip. So he's rushed at me. He's wielding a broadsword. Oh, my God. Okay, he's wearing fur stuff. Masterwork fur hood, leather belt. He's got a spear, a broadsword. Oh, I so want that. Oh god, he's got a crossbow as well. Okay. Well, this is happening now. I mean, my dodge skill is 75 and my spear skill is 80. So we should be a really good match for him. Execute his skill thrust and he fails to counter strike. Right, we're going to dodge. And we've dodged like a swan. Nice. Okay, let's try and stab him again. Uh, he quickly raises his broadsword to block it. And he's trying to slash me. We're going to dodge again. Completely misses. Right, please stab him. Right, he's counter-striking with his broadsword, but I still glanced off his thorax with my strike. So I'm going to dodge. Oh, right, he's slashed my hand. I'm having trouble holding my weapon, so that might be like a minus one to attack, I guess, for the next round. So I'll try and stab him again. Alright, he's successfully... Ooh, ow. Right, both parties managed to hurt each other. So I glanced off his shoulder, and he glanced off my thorax. Uh, the broadsword slips from his grasp. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. It wastes a turn, but it means he doesn't have a fucking broadsword. So I'm going to dodge again. Right, okay. Spear. Point. Body. Right, I failed to do more than a sloppy attack. 
and he's trying to stab at me with his spear. Right, hopefully his spear skill is nowhere near as good as his sword skill, because he did get a couple of hits on me with his sword. Right, I've stabbed him with my spear, and he's unconscious. I, I've done it, I have murdered someone. Uh, oh no, he's not unconscious anymore, hold on. Let me grab his spear, right. He was only unconscious for a, a little second there, but he's in trouble. Right, we'll stab him. He's staggering to maintain his balance, and I glance that blow off his hip. He's wielding a broad knife now. He's getting desperate. Right, uh, he's just completely missed me, and he's actually trying to run away now. We're not going to let that happen. We're going to stab him in the groin! Right, okay, he's unconscious. He dropped his knife. I'm going to grab his knife because I knew he would get back up again just immediately. Right, we struck him hard in the thorax. Uh, he's trying to kick me, so we'll dodge that quite easily. He's got no weapons now. Um, there we go. He's bleeding from his abdomen and he's unconscious, I think permanently now. Yep. There we go. He drops dead in an instant. Uh, we have all of his stuff. And ironically, he doesn't actually have any food on him, so we're literally going to have to slice him into pieces. 33 edible cuts of human meat. Oh. You are desperately hungry. Don't I know it. First things first, I want to look at my wounds. Uh, a couple of shallow cuts, one on the hand, one on the chest. Not a big deal. We'll clean those out in a minute. But, um, I could probably eat this meat raw, but I'm just not ready to go that primitive just yet. <laughs> oh, yes. Human meats. All of it. There we go. And I'm just going to eat all this now. Like, I'm just done. We're, ju we're just a cannibal now. We best deal with it. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Alright, stuff's ready. There we go. Roasted meat. It's plain good roasted human cut. And happily consumed too. Oh, it is. It is happily consumed. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm evil. I'm an evil, horrible person. Never mind. I got a broadsword though. And, yeah, a broad knife. Which is nice. Certainly better than this knife. Um... Yeah, he had... what else did he have? He had a spear, so I've got a spare spear if I want to start throwing them around. And a crossbow and 13 arrows, which I'm probably abysmal at using. Yeah, I have 13% crossbow skill. So we'll probably trade that. To be fair, I'll probably trade the broadsword as well. I could probably buy out a village with that. It's going to be worth a lot. Ah, we are rescued from the brink of death. For now, anyway. Oh, man. I, I feel kind of bad for the guy, but... On second thoughts... Mm, nah. <laughs> I have stuff and lots of tasty meat to eat. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the drawbacks of cannibalism are in this. I haven't really done it that much. Uh, but I'm gonna... Do I really want to pick up my stones? They're everywhere. I don't need them back. I'm just going to leave that fire though. Yeah. <laughs> just going to start a forest fire. Well, I don't know what those neat grasses are. So, now I've got plenty of food. Uh, it is morning. So I'm going to leave those fishing nets until night time and... Oh, shit. Or I'm going to pass out. Yeah, I forgot that I was actually super duper tired. But I thought I saw something in the distance. But I don't think I did. Well, let's eat some more human flesh. And yeah, I don't want to go to that village. I don't think they had particularly amazing stuff to trade for. Um, yeah, there might be more villages under the black stuff to the southeast here. So let's have a drink and head on over there. Oh, shit. What is it? 
It's a squirrel. Now you give me a squirrel. Now I've actually committed murder. You're like, oh, here you go, dude. Here's a squirrel. Have a snack. <sighs> really? Right, let's start throwing my club at it. Oh, I hit it. Uh, where the hell's my club gone, though? That's the question. <laughs> is it just lodged in its leg or something? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's up a tree that's, like, freestanding here, so... I should just be able to kill it quite easily. But, uh, I'll do it off-camera, because it'll probably take a while throwing a club at it. There we go. It actually literally took one more throw after I paused the recording there, but never mind. Right, let's eat some more flesh. Flesh. And slice open the squirrel. Like, I mean, you get one cut of meat from a squirrel. I... I don't even think you would get that, really, if you were honest with yourself. If you were butchering a squirrel. That's so tiny. You might get, like, a rasher off it. You know, like a bacon rasher. Uh, oh, what's this? Um, I have encountered a stag, but I might actually fall unconscious while I'm chasing it. Can I hide? No. Eh, I'll just try and walk towards it, but nah. Now yeah, we're gonna get it. Got some a lot of heather around here. Very nice. Okay. Uh let's go hide out in this village for the night. Or for the afternoon actually. Cause I am actually gonna pass out very soon. And eat some human flesh in front of them. They don't mind. I don't know what it is. As far as I concerned, it's pork. Alright, um, ah, a fire. Yeah, speaking of pork, they do have pigs. But, um, yeah, I want one of these big fires that are actually lit. What's that on the ground? Oh, I left some flatbreads here. At least I think they're mine. Yeah, these are mine. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably, well, I guess I did need to kill that guy still. But yeah, this dude here, I could probably hire him with the flesh of the other guy. Ooh, he has a shovel as well. Can I have that? A crossbow and 18 arrows. I might be able to trade him the crossbow for the shovel. Do you know about the Yerpas? No. Who is he? He's Turi, I guess. I have some goods to trade. Oh, he won't trade his shovel. What a dick. He'll only trade stuff that I already have. Ugh. What a dick. Whoops. Right, let's uh, roast my squirrel. <laughs> That's not a sentence you say every day. Unless you're me. Yes, you already. I shall eat the fat. And go sleep in this corner here. It is evening, after all. Okay, it takes a long time to sleep in villages because of all these mooks running around. Yeah, you heard me, you mooks. Okay, um... I don't know, I'm so tempted to hire an adventurer with this human flesh and take them out into the woods and kill them. Uh, just go proper cannibal mode. Right, let's eat a bit of flatbreads with our squirrel meat. We basically just had a squirrel and rye sandwich. That's quite nice. Alright, uh... What was I doing? Yeah, I was exploring, but I'm going to go back and check on my nets. Because, you know, this human flesh won't last forever, so... Uh, I need to go west. Uh, which side of this river do I need to be on? Which way am I facing? <laughs> I'm so turned around. Um, yeah, where are these nets? It's the white marker on the map. And I am just to the south of it. Here they are. There we go. Alright, so I'm right on top of my thing as well. So let's take off the club. Uh, wheel my paddle. Sploosh! Right. Pull the nets up. There are no fish in this net. There are no fish in this net. I suck at nets, I guess. Ah, uh, What's going on? Right, I'll drop the nets there. I mean, maybe it's because it's next to a little island, I guess. They're like swimming around them. <laughs> I don't think it models uh, fishing 
uh, fish's swimming patterns. I'm pretty sure. Uh, stop this paddle here. Let's clean my squirrel skin while I'm here. It'll only take about half an hour. Alright, so I've got to remember I'm still kind of malnourished. We're pretty good at the moment, though. We're pretty healthy. But... Uh, do fish just not exist anymore? Because this net is not catching a damn thing. Uh, is it still their territory over the other side of the river? Um... Yeah, just about. So I'm just thinking about going over these fords. Let's see if I can find some more villages on the other side. Because, yeah, this is a little island, so I'll have to hop over to here. There, yeah, I'm in a cage of trees. There we go. Alright, ford. Oh, that's uh, a bit deep there, so it is. I should just... no. I might just be able to... Yeah. Oh shit, I'm trapped. Oh no. Um, bollocks. Right, it looked like it was a ford that I could cross all the way across on, but... No, it doesn't look like it is, actually. I, I'm gonna try swimming, but... Yeah. <laughs> If I drown here, then, you know, that'll kind of suck, but right, so I can wait out to about here. Uh, right, so now we're swimming. feel slightly fatigued from swimming. Oh god, right, uh, there's a river up ahead. Uh, I'm not going through that. We'll go miles and miles and miles out of our way, but... I'm not going through that. <laughs> that will mean drownings. Probably. Like, I've never actually tried. But yeah, in a game with permadeath, like, why would you? <laughs> why would you dive into running water when you have next to no swimming skill? That just seems like a really, really bad idea. Um, Alright, there's a ford down here. We'll use this one. It goes all the way across. Like a proper ford. I don't think you should really call it a ford if it doesn't go all the way across. Ooh, what have I found here? River pig. It is not edible. When consumed in any form, it is poisonous. It is completely known to you. It doesn't say deadly poisonous, so... You know. <laughs> I think you can boil poisonous things and make them not poisonous. Because you throw out the uh, the poisonous water and just use the mush that you get from it. Aha! I found a village, and it's all the way over there. All the way over another fake ford, by the looks of things. Yep. Let's have a look over this side. Nope. Ah, uh, right. Well, I guess we'll try and cross here, but... Oh god, I'm like literally in a cage of trees. I wonder if it's possible to spawn when you come out of fast travel. Like right in a bunch of trees that you can't get out of unless you cut them. Um, right, we're still waiting. Right, that's deep water. Or deeper water. I feel slightly fatigued. Aha, I'm waiting again. For like two seconds. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Swimming is my friend. Right, now I'm going to go over another ford. Damn it. Uh, let's eat some more human flesh. Let's get up an appetite for this village. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm basically just a cannibal now. I didn't intend this. I didn't intend this for this uh, character. <laughs> it just happened. Oh dear, dear, dear. Right. Well, you best have something good here, because I have broadswords and stuff. Dried burbots. I mean, if I ever catch something in my nets, I won't need to buy fish, but... Yeah, they are looking a little bit more appetizing right now. These guys suck. They got nothing. What have you got in here? Some rye flour. Yeah, I don't know. I did look these guys up on the wiki, the Sartala. 
and they said they were pretty good for trading, so I was kind of like, you know, well, okay, I've never started near them before, so I'll give it a look, but no, they kind of suck actually, they don't have anything. What's this? Unusual grass. I don't know what it is. And some raspberries? Milkweeds. I was close. Milkberries. Uh, yeah, they got like four houses here and absolutely nothing. Just nothing. Where was that one that had a stag fur in it though? Because that's a lot of fur. Might be worth trading for something like a crossbow that I cannot use at all. There we go. You pick up the stag fur. Yeah, yeah, I'm paying for it. Uh, who are you? It's Quill... Do you know about the Urpis? No. Whoops. <laughs> I just asked him like ten times. Good to know you, stranger. Alright, let's see. Do you want a crossbow? Wow. Okay, just like right away. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I feel like that's a bad deal for me. Uh, let's have some three dried badger cuts and a bag of rye flour. So I could trade the arrows as well, because I mean, what is, what is my bow skill? That's only competent. Like, I'm much better off throwing spears at people. Oh, I've got a spare one now. Uh, I've certainly had another... Careful, careful, don't leave the village. Yeah, let me in. Smoked roach. That's hardly even worth picking up. So bloody small. And uh, there was nothing in there, was there? You, wench. I wish to purchase stuff. This is Esther. Trade items. I would like to pay my debts. Uh, crossbow. Wow. Okay, crossbows seem to be worth a fair bit. How about a broadsword? I, I don't want to get ripped off here. Uh, how about 13 arrows? A good start. Well, that's no good. Uh, how about 13 arrows and a knife? It needs to be tripled. Because, yeah, I would rather... Um, oh, I haven't tanned the skin yet. Never mind. Hmm. I could trade some human flesh, but and now I've just started eating it. It's, it's not worth it, really. I've got a masterwork fur hood, which is... <laughs> needs to be doubled. There's absolutely nothing left of that. Yeah, they won't buy leather stuff. I've I've discovered that. It's a bit odd. I mean, it's a belt, you know. Uh, what about? Do I have anything? Fine linen trousers. There's bugger all left of those. Compensates for two thirds. Uh, how about fine linen undershirts? Pleasantly close. Uh, you see, now I'm having second thoughts again, because all of those clothes I can turn into cords, and they're worth more to me than a crossbow, honestly. So I'm just going to go ahead and rip myself off and trade a crossbow for some skin and some dried fish. Wow. Okay, uh, did they have an elder tree here? Oh, they got a rowan tree. I'm just going to go ahead and peel some bark off this. What shall I think I've already... Where? People. I think I already had some bark, didn't I? Uh, obviously not. So yeah, we can tan this squirrel skin. I'm not going to do it here, though. I shall do it back where my shelter is. Do, 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 do. Right. Um, if I can get back there. Whereabouts is it? It's all the way to the east. Uh, I am going to do a little bit more exploring, though. It is the afternoon. And we'll cross over this ford to see what's on the other side. More bloody archipelagos. God damn it. Oh, there's a village over there, though. Which I'm not sure I can get to. There is a ford here. Alright, so I think this will work. Get out of my way, tree. No time for you. Uh, nope. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I'm just on an island. Uh, there is a ford here. It's right next to some rapids. But 
I think I can just sort of go diagonally through it. Maybe. Um, Alright, uh, shit, I'm stuck. What the hell? Alright, stick to the light blue tiles. I might just be able to sidle along here. Oh, I can see land over there. Okay. We do have a little bit of fatigue. Oh. That's not proper land. You're lacking the strength to swim much longer. Oh, shit. Eh, get back in the weighty bits. Oh, I nearly drowned. Yeah, I came really, really close to drowning there. Let's eat these flatbreads. To wash down the human meat. Yeah, so I can't cross here. Uh, I should just carry my raft around with me. I'm going to have to. Living in this place, it's a bloody death trap. There's another one over there. I I can't... Oh, I can get to that one. Ah. I wish I could just cross the fords on the world map. I mean... That's what they're for. Right. Because, yeah, just zooming in just to do that is always just a little bit... Son of a... Oh, okay. I go around this way. Ah. Alright. Alright, there's nothing behind me. Uh, what have you got here? More pigs! They like the pigs in this country. Um, another sauna? I thought those things were supposed to be rare. Everybody seems to have them. Uh, what have I got here? A masterwork splitting axe. I would rather have a woodsman's axe at the moment. That's what we're going to need most. But yeah, I think I could basically buy everything in this village. So I'm just going to start picking it all up. <laughs> um, yeah, especially dried stuff. That's going to last for ages. But yeah, I mean smoked stuff as well. I don't need a fur hood. I can make my own. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get everything I can from here. And trade it all for a single sword. Most likely, anyway. What have we got here? A carving axe. Some more furs. Squirrel fur. Uh, I'm going to try and grab the stag fur. Uh, badger fur? I don't know. How big is it? I'll just pick it up. We'll see. I can always give them stuff back if, um, if it's not worth it. But, yeah. Uh, is that all of your houses? Gotta be careful I don't leave the village. They won't like that. Oh, look, an adventurer. Greet. Who are you? His name is Lametti. Alright, let's uh, see if we can buy this stuff. Offer goods for payment. How about a broadsword? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I can just buy the entire village for a broadsword. Uh, Alright, it's a deal. Good to do business with you, bro. Uh, I might be able to buy a pig as well. It'll give me a rope as well, which is always nice. How about a spear? Uh, yep, that works, but how about 13 arrows? Uh, start the trade again from the start. Well, that's not going to work out at all. How about a knife? <laughs> Only the start. No. Yeah. I think, um... I think I'll save the spear for something else instead of just buying a pig, which really isn't going to be of any use for me. I mean, I think I could get leather from it and some meat, but I don't think I can get milk from it. I've never heard of pig's milk. But yeah, I mean, you know, one little murder, okay, and our fortunes have changed. Look at that, we're laden down with furs. We have all of this food, and we even have a spare spear, so <laughs> we're doing all right. The poor sod that we killed isn't doing too well, but, you know, that's life. <laughs>